Okay guys, uh, do you remember in the previous video, we defined the load, right? We, we, we defined the load cases, right? Do you remember, right? We, we create uh, the dead loads, the safe weight, the life loads, the wind load in, in two direction, and also the seismic load in four direction, right? So in today's video, we're gonna apply the dead loads. And in our case, we have three types of dead load. The first dead, dead load that we have is the safe weight. So the safe weight is just, um, uh, the safe weight of the building is the total dead loads acting on the structure, right? Due to, what can I say, to its own mess from the foundation to, uh, to the floor, right? And also we have the dead loads on the roof and the, de the dead loads on the floor. So I'm going to go on dead load here. I'm going to delete. I'm, I need to be more specific. So I'm going to delete here the only the, the dead load. And here I'm going to create another dead load. Like I'm going to go on dead load under nature. The nature is under dead load. And the name for the name here, I will use uh, for the name. I will use DLF for the dead load flow. And then I'm going to edit. And I'm going to do the same, the same process. I repeat the same process for the roof. I'm going to take DLR for the roof and then I'm going to add this, okay? And then I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this table. So after closing the table, you have to know that the safe weight of the building has been calculated automatically by the, by the, soft, by the software, by the computer. Like if you want to check the value, just go on the load here and open the, the, load, the load table here. And after opening the, the load table, you will, okay, here there's nothing. Like if you, if you just click in here and then choose the self, self weight, you will see that our self weight is calculated. The value is one, uh, one, 1.0, right? And the parts of structure is in Z direction, negative Z direction. Negative Z direction means that the loads, the mag magnitude of the load is uh, oriented in, in downward, like downwards, right? And so this is the safe weight of the building. So we need to apply the two remaining lo dead loads, the dead load floor and the dead load roof, right? So after after this, so we can just change the view, go go on the view here, and you can hide the section, the section shape, and uh, you can go on the plan, right? So before I apply the loads, uh, we, we need to talk first. Like uh, if I zoom, if I zoom, if I zoom. All right. Uh, if I zoom here, uh, if I zoom here, you will know that uh, uh, this one is the first floor. This is the second floor. This is the third floor, and this is the roof, right? So don't don't get confused. So after this, just go on, on the load, go on load definition, and uh, I'm gonna use the surface. Uh, and I will after taking the surface, I will change. Just make sure here it's under D D L R, right? You can D L R means uh, dead dead load roof. Or we can change, we can go on, we can start with the flow, we can just take the DLF, right? It means the dead load flow, right? And after this, we can take the uniform, uniform load. So uniform load is just um, the, cons uh, the cons how can I say, consistent uh, di distribution of weight of a specific area, like a specific length, right? And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my force like I'm gonna use my force in Z direction but downward, right? So I, I will take uh, the value of of 5.5 and the negative means that uh, the load is located in like is located is going down, right? So that's why I'm taking negative here and I'm gonna edit and it should be in global like global means Z in X direction but it should be in Z direction. That's why I use the direction in y direction, x direction, or the value, both of the value are zero, and it should be projected loads, right? And I'm gonna edit, and after after adding it, I will go on plan view, and from the plan view here, I will select only the first level. I will go on the first level, I will right click on the mouse, and then press select, and then press in here, and apply, all right? And if, uh, if the load is, is not visible, we just go on uh, on load symbol here, press on load, load symbol here, and then change the view. And you will see that, uh, sorry, let me close this for, okay, uh, let me change in here. First, I'm gonna zoom it. I'm gonna zoom all, and I will change, let's change, uh, let's go in here again. 
right? So uh, if you press here on, if you press on the load symbols, you will see the load that we create so far. So this is our, our load. This is the load that we create. This is the flow load, dead load that we create. So you need to repeat the same process for the second and the third flow. So I'm gonna do the same, uh, the same, the same step. I will go on plan view. I will change the level. I'm gonna take the second level, seven point five, right? Um, the height is seven point five, right? And the height is three. Like uh, the, the total is seven point five. So uh, I will, I will go on surface again. Like I'm gonna repeat the same process, surface, and I'm gonna click on the uniform load here and. I will keep the same value. I will keep the same value. The same value is uh, five points, five point five, right? Negative, negative direction, right? Like in down, down direction. And here, I'm gonna press on select, I right click, and then select, and then press on uh, the roof, and then click on edge here, and then apply. And if you change the view, you will see that we applied the loads on the second on the second the second floor. So you can do the same for the last floor. Just repeat the same process. The same process here. Like go change uh, the elevation to uh, the third floor, right? And here, just uh, click on or right click on the mount on the mount. Sorry, and then press select, and then here press on the floor here, and apply. And if you close, all right, uh, I don't want to close it. Like, I don't want to close it. Like, I'm going to change the view. If I change the view, you will see that the, all the dead load flow that have been created. Like, we can see the first floor, the second floor, and the, uh, and also the third floor. And all of this flow, they have the same magnitudes and they have the same value. The value is 0. Point, I mean, 5.5 kilonewton meter square right and i need to do the same for the roof but they have different values this different value here for the roof is 3.5 so i'm gonna go here again like the, the surface load and i'm gonna take i'm gonna use the uniform uh, the uniform load so i'm gonna press the uniform load but now i will change the value to 3.5 is is the same like the direction is still down down direction downward uh, direction and the in, is located in global Z and the load should be projected and I'm gonna edit and I'm gonna change the plan I will change the plan and after changing the plan I will go here on uh, level I will take the last level and after taking the last level here I will right click pick select and then click on the roof and then apply right and if I close it and change the view you will see that you will see the roof. We have we have we have other force on the roof here, right? This is the roof. This is the roof. Uh, this one is here. Is the roof uh, strength like force? Sorry, uh, this is the roof forces, right? Dead loads. And in the pre in the next video, I'm gonna show how to use the live loads for the staircases, the live load for the wall, the live load for the roof, and the live load for the floor. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to share the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.